Welcome to Kit.com practice video series. Today we will talk about the setup of NVR 8025-9 HD. Inside the box, you would find the NVR, one mouse, one power adapter, a set of menus and accessories. Let's check out the interfaces of this model. You can find the power button and the two USB ports on the front panel. On the rear panel, you will find the power connector, Ethernet port, HDMI and VGE, RCA port, RS485 and alarm in, alarm out. First, loosen the six screws with the cross screwdriver and remove the cover. Secondly, locate the hard disk screws inside the tool bag and attach them onto the hard disk. Then, connect the power cable and the data cable to hard disk. After, position the hard disk to make sure the screws in line with the screw holes, and then slide into position. This part is for the secondary hard disk and also another pair of data cable and power cable. Next, invert the NVR and fasten the hard disk screws. Place the cover back on and fasten the screws. To check if the system and the hard disk installation is OK, power on the system and wait for 100 seconds. Make sure there are no abnormal noise produced by the NVR. Today we will talk about the GUI of NVR. Connect the IP camera and NVR with one switch. Also, the mouse connected to NVR. After, connect the NVR power adapter and start the NVR. The first step is to set the system language and the system IP address. Change system time only if you are in GMT plus 8, otherwise change it after this wizard. Auto networking will enable the system automatically search and add cameras. In advanced setting, you will find that DHCP is enabled by default. Deselect this if you have another DHCP server in your network. Next, format and parsing the hard disk. Please do format and parsing the hard disk with NVR, even if the hard disk has been formatted before. Next, search and add devices to NVR. Click search add to search devices within the same network. Select the one you want to add to NVR. Next, recording parameters. To configure recording schedule, you should choose one camera, one date, and select time period or define it as you wish. You can copy all these settings to other cameras or 
did. With recording policy, you can set the action after the space is full. The last step is alarm setting. To set service alarm, you should choose the alarm type, the camera, and active time. You can copy all these settings to other alarm type, date. Linkage is to set the action after the alarm, like recording, snapshot, caption, and others. After the setup wizard, we have several things to do. First, we need to check the time zone. Change the time zone to your location and then the time. To view the streaming, right-click the window and choose the camera. To configure the camera, right-click and select device setting to make changes to the current setting. To check the recording, right-click on the camera and choose Record Inquiry. Select the channel and time. Right-click to exit recording playback. You will also find some other shortcuts at the bottom of the GUI. Today we will talk about the NVR station setup. First, connect your PC, NVR, and IPC to make sure that they are within the same network. Use the disk in the tools bag to install IPC control and NVR station. Search devices with IPC control to get the IP address. Sign in NVR station with username admin and password admin 123. Add NVR to NVR station with username admin password admin 123. You can end by NVR with its IP address or its URL. Click to connect to NVR. You can also add another NVR to NVR station. After, go to System Management to check the system time zone and change it to your location. Right-click NVR table and select Add or Delete to search the devices within the same network with NVR. You can also search single camera with Onwif or RTSP protocol. There are monitor, playback, e-map, and TV wall four main features. For monitor, double-click the channel to view the first screen. Drag and drop the secondary stream icon to view the second screen. Use the shortcut at the bottom of the window to configure the camera setting. Use PTZ panel at the top left side to pan, turn, and zoom. Use other features to change the image quality. With the submenu, you can change the view layout and aspect ratio. For playback, you should double-click the camera and then select the date and the time to start the playback. Use the shortcut at the bottom of the play window to control the playback. 
Use the submenu to switch between multiple playback and synchronized playback. Also, change the viewing layout and aspect ratio. A-Map Change to Edit mode to add and edit the map. Click the plus to add map groups and then add map. Double click the map to edit it. Drag and place the camera name onto the map. After switch to browse mode, you can import or export all the map data via the submenu. TV Wall is an advanced feature to work with K.com decoder to output streaming to HD monitor. You can also find the settings at the top right corner of the MVR station.